Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today we are continuing our advanced algebra playlist by looking at the difference of two squares. And this is our 10th video. Difference of two squares is also abbreviated as simply dots. I've also seen other textbooks call it the difference of perfect squares or DOPS. So just be aware it does have different names. We're going to probably call it for dots for short in this video. So in this video, what we're going to be covering is where the rule comes from. It's a type of pattern like we looked at in our last video with perfect squares. And then I'm going to run you through some quick worked examples. Let's have a look first of all about where the dots rule comes from. So we've got this particular situation here of x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. Now you'll notice in this particular situation the first term in each set of brackets is the same. The second set of brackets is the um, second term in each set of brackets is the same and the only difference is is that there's a plus here and a minus here. Now if these were both pluses we'd be looking at a perfect square. If they were both minuses we'd also be looking at a perfect square. So the big difference between this and perfect squares is one is a plus, one is a minus. Now let's see what happens when we expand using FOIL. Um, if you're not sure how to expand using FOIL, go and watch one of our previous videos on um, expanding binomial products um, or double brackets as it's also called. Okay, so first of all, firsts. F stands for firsts. That's our first term in each set of brackets. X times X makes X squared. O stands for outside. So the outside of each set of brackets means minus 5 times X. We get take away 5X. Okay, insides. I from, oil, from FOIL. Inside terms are these two ones inside the brackets, um, right in the middle, plus 5 times x makes positive 5x, and our last term in each set of brackets is plus 5 multiplied by minus 5, so positive times a negative makes a negative, and 5 times 5 makes negative 25. Okay, so we've expanded using brackets. Let's simplify these two middle terms here. Um, negative 5x plus 5x makes 0, so that's going to make those two middle terms disappear, and we've got simply x squared take away 25. Now you can see with this particular rule when we've got this situation that looks a bit like a perfect square but the only difference is a plus here and a minus here, instead of when we expand ending up with three terms, we're going to end up with two terms. We're going to end up with a squared term here, a squared term here and a subtraction in the middle, which is why it's called the difference of two squares. That's the first square, that's the second square, there's two squared numbers here. And the difference means take away, take away in the middle, dots for short. Okay, so we're going to look now at a quick shortcut to get from here to here without having to take too many steps. Um, so firstly, you'll notice that um, this uh, particular rule looks at um, the first number squared, the second number squared, so x squared, 5 squared, and we're going to put a subtraction in the middle. So anytime you see this set up in a question, you simply take this first term, square it, second term, square it, and put a minus in between. Okay, so that rule is only going to work when the expansion um, is in that form there. So if it's in any other form, if these two numbers are different, it will not be dots. If it's going to be a plus here and a plus here, it's not dots, it's a perfect square. So it needs to be in that setup there. Okay, let's look at this with our first worked example. So first of all, we're going to check, are the first terms the same? Yes, they are, they're both M's. Then we're going to look, are the, the last terms the same? Yes, they are, they're both the number three. And is the first set of terms added and the second set of terms subtracted? A plus in one set of brackets, a minus in the other set? Well, yes, they are. So in all of these situations, that means we can use the shortcut. So our shortcut is, is that we square our first number, square our last number, and then put a minus in between the two. So squaring that first number gives me m squared, and squaring that second number gives me 9. Put a minus in between, you get m squared, take away 9. So I love this shortcut, I love any shortcut, and this one's a fun one to use. So we can also use that same shortcut to work backwards, which is factorising, putting it back into brackets. So in this particular situation, I've got p squared take away 100. Now what I typically see in exams is students will look at this question and they'll go, oh, there's no common factor, 
when they're told to factorize, they know automatically I've got to look for fa common factors. And I go, there's no common factor between a P and a 100. So therefore, I can't do this, can't be done, and I'll move on to the next question. It's simply because they don't remember the dots rule. I've got a squared number here, P with a squared. I've got a square number here, and this is where it's good to know your times tables because 10 squared is equal to 100. And I've got that subtraction in the middle, which tells me it's going to be dots. Okay, so first of all, our check is, are they both squared numbers? Yes. Is there a subtraction in the middle? Yes. So we know straight away we could put it into that form. Okay, so dots or dops. Okay, so take the square root of the first number. Square root of p squared is simply p. And take the square root of that number there. Square root of 100 is 10. You can even do that on your calculator. And then remember, you'll have the square roots in both sets of brackets and a plus and a minus in between. Okay, so that square root here comes into the first part of the brackets. Square root of p squared is p. Square root of 100 is 10. And you're going to have a plus and then a minus in each set of brackets. There they are. Finished. Okay, and if you're wanting to check your work, best way to do that is just expand that using FOIL and just check that when you finalize it, you get to the same place. It's always a good idea to check your work. Okay, let's try this one again. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do that check. Do we have two squared numbers? So yes, 9 is a squared number, k squared is a squared number, 64 is a squared number. So the first criteria for dots is there. Secondly, is there a subtraction in the middle? Yes, there is. So now I know I can follow the pattern. So take the square root of this number. Square root of 9 is 3, square root of k squared is k, so that becomes 3k. Square root of 64 is 8, and then remember, plus in the first set of brackets, minus in the second set of brackets, and check your work. Well, did you find this video helpful? I know we covered it quickly. You may want to go back. I would recommend write down that original rule. Um, write down your little checks and put them on your wall somewhere in your house so that you will remember the setup. Because I guarantee you when you get to the exam and you see just two terms, something squared, take away something squared, it's really easy to forget oh, that follows a pattern, that is dots, difference of two squares. So in that case there, um, as soon as you see two numbers separated with a subtraction symbol, look for those squared values. That will tell you um, that you could probably use the dots rule. Now, if you did find this video helpful, here are some ways you can engage further with the McClutchy Maths channel. First of all, like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you'll always know when my next video is ready. Tell someone, why not tell us in the comments? Always love to hear your feedback. And thank you very much for our ongoing subscribers and viewers, really appreciate you. Mwah. You could also follow on social media. It's a great way to engage with us there. We do have tips, tricks, competitions, and memes from time to time. Facebook usually for the teachers and Instagram for the students. And you could also consider a super like, why not give back to the channel that's giving to you? Um, you could share with us a buck or two. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, mcclutchymass at yahoo.com is the place to reach me. If you've got questions, eh, comments not really a great spot for that. It's kind of hard to explain with a given number of characters, but in an email, I can give examples, etc. Well, thank you so much for joining me again. I'm Natalie McClutchy. You've been watching McClutchy Mass. Have a wonderful day.